Happy day, everyone. Thank you for joining me again for another workout. Today's workout is gonna be more of a fluid uh, motion workout rather than straight up fitness. We're gonna try to make it look a little bit more graceful today. Um, as I'm getting into my yoga certification mindset, I'm trying to imagine like a more fluid fitness uh, practice, but I'll go both ways with that. So the first one we're gonna do is a wide leg, um, wide leg stretching exercise just to get ourselves warmed up. So go wide and we're gonna take our arms as we go down and up and down. We're just breathing and up again, down. We're just doing a few of these to get warmed up and back up, down and up and down and just Sit here for a second and pulse it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now take your arms and we're just gonna shift from one side to the other. So we're just shifting from left to right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten good now put your hands on your quads or thighs we're going to take your right shoulder right elbow and dip it down and get a good spine stretch here so if you can see my right elbow is just pressing into my right quad and i'm just going to hold it here you feel that deep stretch under the leg so we're going to hold for ten nine eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now you're gonna put that right hand back on the thigh and then take the left elbow now and dip it, dip your left shoulder into that stretch. And we're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one and carefully we're just going to roll it up so a little bit of a spinal articulation here from your um, lowered position you're just going to kind of bend your knees and just roll her back up and roll the shoulders back for one two three four and five let's go forward with those one two three four and five and now let's do a little bit of a mermaid stretch so in pilates you have a seated mermaid stretch i'm going to do the standing version so you're going to scoop one arm underneath and take the other arm up over your head and you're just going to lean into it and pulse two three four five six seven eight, nine, 10, and then carefully switch it. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, pulsing for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we're gonna do a hamstring stretch. You can either do it with a prop, so if you have a little stool or a chair, or you just can do it with your heel to the floor if you don't have something nearby. So I'm gonna take my right heel and put it on top of a stool or a chair, and I'm just gonna pulse into this stretch. One, two, get a deep hamstring stretch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and then we're gonna go down and hold it. And if you wanna reach down the leg, pull your toes, and you're still squatting. The, the leg that's not stretching is, is bent and squatting a little bit. We're holding it for just another second or two, and then release. Now let's do that other leg. So again, if you're doing it on the floor, same thing, you could just pulse into it like this. This is your modification. You're just getting a little baby squat in there 
and then you can reach for your toes and pull the toes towards you. If you're using the chair or the stool, go ahead and pull the toes toward you. And then we're gonna, we're bending the opposite leg and you're just gonna pulse it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And again, go forward even more, get deeper into that stretch and pull on the toes or whatever part of the leg you're able to grab and hold it. Uh, another couple of seconds, three, four, and five, and carefully lift it, pull it up. Now we're gonna do an Eve's lunge exercise. So Eve's lunge, you're gonna take, uh, we're mimicking what you would do on the reformer in a studio. So whatever you have behind you to prop your leg up on, it's a stool or a chair, a sofa, go ahead and walk your foot the front foot is going forward. We're gonna stretch from here, hold it, and we're gonna do some arm circles. And remember I said we were gonna do a little fluid motion here. So situate yourself and as you go down, you're gonna bring your arms in a circle. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it back up. You feel that in the leg that's standing. Carefully pull yourself off that stool. Now switch. Go ahead and park the other leg on top of that chair or stool, whatever it is that you have. You can feel the stretch in your psoas muscles, which are up here in the front. And let's go ahead and do that same circular arm motion as you go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try not to let the knee go above or over your toes. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay. Come on up carefully. And now we're gonna do some calf raises. So again, you can use a stool or a chair or a prop. Shake your legs out just a little bit. Get a little bit of a fancy feet movement going on. All right, now we're just gonna lower and lift to do our calf, calf muscles. You can either bring your elbows down to the prop or just Put your hands, just lift and lower for one, two, three, four, five, keep going, nine, 10, 11, 12, we'll go to 30, 19, 20, 10 more. standing up on my tippy toes just hold here on your tippy toes hold it and then relax and go ahead and do those little walking in place beats like that and then we're gonna try some with our fake wall I'll come a little bit closer so I have my sticky mat here so put your heels together and hands on hips or hands on your fake wall and we're just gonna lower and lift two, three, I don't know how many I've done. We'll do 20, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, keep going, 18, 19, 20. Walk it in place, stretch it out just a little bit. All right, that was good for those. So. Calf muscles, let's try not to neglect them. I know we don't get to do them all the time, um, but it's good to just work them a little bit. Now we're gonna do a seated um, squatting exercise, but we're gonna incorporate 
the arm circles to make it a little bit more fluid, a little bit more graceful. So as you're sitting, you're sitting on your chair, we're gonna, we're actually gonna sweep our arms back and forward. So you come up, arms go back and up like this. That's one, two, three, four, five, keep going. Ten. Let's go to thirty. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Ten more. You're feeling this in your quads by now. Twenty-nine. Thirty. And then just pulse it out from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Push your hips forward. Do a little bit of a back bend to stretch. Now we can do a flying leg exercise to test our balance a little bit. So all I'm going to do, again with the arms, I'm going to go forward, balancing on the left leg that is forward, swing the arms back and down. We're just doing like a seesaw motion. That's two, three, four, ten. Keep going. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Carefully bring it down. Let's switch to the other side. So now your right leg is forward. We're just going to do that flying motion with our legs. Just a tiny little leg lift just to get us to balance. Here we go, one, two, all the way to 20, three, nine, ten, ten more, Ooh. losing your balance, <laughs> like me, 18, 19 and 20. Carefully bring it down. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a pigeon stretch and then we will go back to our abs. So to balance, you can have a chair or something next to you. Take one leg, put it on top of the other. Now you're in a yoga pose and this is like your standing pigeon pose. If you want to try to balance, put your hands in front of you, put them behind you. You can put them behind your back if you want. Just stand here and we're stretching out the glute muscle, also stretching out your leg. You can hold on to something if you want and dip a little bit lower. And we're just holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now switch the legs. Left leg comes over the top, just like the letter P or a number four, whatever, whatever direction you're facing. Try to balance. You're just sitting here almost as low as this little stool or chair. You're just holding two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Good job. We have just enough time to do some abs. Let's crank them out. Hope you enjoyed that fluid uh, fitness. And here we go with our abs. One, two, keep going. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. 
40. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred and switch. <clears throat> Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty, fifty, sixty, keep it up, seventy, we're almost done. 80, 90, 10 more, 99, 100, that's 200 and we're stopping there because I've gone too long. Thanks for joining me. Bye.